video, I'm going to show you how to play the zoomed in game on the Zoom app. I've been getting a lot of questions asking, hey, Sean, how do you play the zoomed in game? I don't understand how you load up the pictures so that everybody can see the zoomed in effect. So in today's video, I'm going to give you two ways to play zoomed in. If we're meeting for the first time, hi. My name is Sean, welcome. On this channel, I am passionate about bringing families closer together through fun and games, and I do that through Zoom games and DIY party games. We just have a lot of fun over on this channel. I would love for you to consider subscribing to my channel if you would like to be a part of an amazing community of teachers, church leaders, families, all wanting to connect on a deeper level through fun and games. All right, we need to go over, we need to go over here to my computer. All right, let's go to my computer. Here we go. Alright, to create an iMovie on your phone, you open up the app and click on iMovie. And then you'll need to pick out some pictures to use for the zoomed in games. And then you just click on it and add it to your screen and you'll see it's inside of the iMovie. You'll want to choose the Ken Burns effect. So it says, see there, Ken Burns enabled. So that is how you are going to get that zoomed in effect. So you could zoom in and zoom out and this will let you create that zoomed in effect within a movie so that when you replay it back and share your screen on zoom you get that really cool zoomed in effect so that it's not pixelated all right so I'm gonna go choose another picture I'm gonna add that picture in to my movie so now I have two slides with the Ken Burns effect enabled and so it says to pinch in to zoom and that will, it's given instructions, pinch in position to position the end. And so you can add as many slides as you want so that when you share your screen in zoom, you could have a whole slide of, you could have a whole movie of different zoomed in pictures of your choosing, which is super cool and that your players will love. All right, so let's name our movie. We just click in here and we're gonna name it Zoomed In Game. All right, and then we're gonna export our movie. I like to use the 1080p and this way it will save it straight to my camera feature so that it's easy to access when I go in to play, so that it's easy to access when I go in to the Zoom app. All right, let's go and open the Zoom app and start a meeting with myself. <laughs> there I am. <laughs> All right, so I can show you how to go and access the new iMovie created. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and access the movie that we just created. All right, and then we open it in. And there you can see I'm sharing my screen now on Zoom for all the players to see and it just automatically plays the movie that we just created so that your players can guess and take turns guessing what the object is that I'm zooming in and out. So you can't zoom back in once you've zoomed out because it's a movie, but that's okay. Players can still get the effect and have time to yell out their answer as they're playing and see who wins. And like I said, you can upload any pictures that you want. You can also do this on desktop if you have iMovie on your MacBook. Super easy. All right, to do a simpler version where you use images to share to your Zoom players, go to unsplash.com and you can download free images to use for your Zoom game. So download them and then save them to your desktop. So go ahead and pull up the picture on your desktop that we just got from Unsplash. If you're on a MacBook, it's com it's Command, Shift, and 4 that you press at the same time. And then it will allow you to take little snapshots, pictures of the elephant, of the image. So see, I've got little snapshots here. I'll do it again. And I can zoom out just a little bit more to help players guess what it is. So now I have three images 
to share in Zoom. All right, so we're gonna open up the Zoom app and I'll show you how to play it, how to play Zoomed in. All right. Start a new meeting. There I am. All right, so we'll share the screen. And so when you're playing with your players, you'll start off with the smallest image first, and you're gonna share that. And now all they'll be able to see is this picture, is this one first. Okay, so then they try to guess, and if they don't get elephant correctly, then you can stop sharing. And you'll say, okay, you didn't get it correct. Then you go in and you do the next image. image. And then you'll show them this image. So it'll be this one that I'm moving around. And you'll say, okay, can you guys guess what it is? And they'll be like, no, we still can't figure it out. You know, people are guessing, guessing, guessing. Obviously this is an easy one. So maybe this one would be good for like two-year-olds or preschoolers, but they would probably get this. But I'm just using it as an example. So then you would stop share again and you'd go back in and say, okay, who got it right? Here is the big image. So you're sharing this one. And that is how you play Zoomed In without making a movie.